hello guys welcome to my channel this is the 28th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can control dimensions of elements using CSS so the script that I have here is very similar to the file that we used a couple of tutorials ago when we uh, checked out padding properties and uh, you know I have uh, the poem Invictus by William Henley inside uh, the body of this document and uh, you know I have a few properties applied to the div element in the style section but these properties are different than what we checked out in uh, the tutorial on padding you know we are not using any padding here instead uh, I have uh, four new properties max height min height max width and min width since we're going to see how to control dimensions uh, you know uh, by dimensions we basically mean the height and width of uh, the element so that's why we're going to check out these four new properties and uh, I'll show you how this file looks the way it is right now uh, in the browser so this is how it looks you know remember we are using uh, float left so that's why this entire uh, paragraph or this you know this div element has been compressed towards the left of the screen and uh, we do not have any padding so that's why you can see that there's hardly any space between the text and the border for the div element now if you were to use uh, the height and width properties then you know you you would not get uh, too much control over the dimensions and what I mean by that is uh, let's say I set the max width of this thing to you know 900 pixels you know which is uh, max height sorry to 900 pixels which is much more than you know the current height of the element if I would refresh the page you would see that nothing changes and that's because the border is being wrapped around the text so if you would have more text you know if you would have another verse here or you know another stanza then uh, probably this border would extend but you know using max height is not going to uh, change the height of the element whereas if you use min height you are in a way instructing CSS to forcefully change the height of the element to 900 pixels so now if I would put 900 pixels here save the file go to my browser and refresh you would see that the border now extends so you know CSS has obeyed your instruction and it has changed the uh, height of this uh, this div element to 900 pixels and you know if you were to use uh, max height instead of uh, min height you know let's say you want to restrict the height of this element to you know only 50 pixels which is much smaller than you know the uh, height of the the text in the paragraph so there we go we see a smaller box now and irrespective of where the text ends the height of this element is only going to be you know 50 pixels and uh, similarly you can control the width so you know if uh, I were to use max width you know let's say I set max width to uh, 800 pixels save the file go to my browser and refresh you would see that you know the border just uh, wraps around the text and it does not extend to 800 pixels and that's because you know uh, it won't right uh, but if suppose we use min width and if we set uh, you know the value of this property to 800 pixels I'll get rid of this here save the file go to the browser refresh now you would see a uh, div element with the width of 800 pixels and similarly if you were to use uh, a max width of let's say uh, 40 pixels I'll get rid of 800 pixels here now save the file and refresh there we go we see 40 pixels right so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this one and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next video in which uh, we'll check out a few more CSS properties. And uh, thanks for watching this one. Take care.